What up, what up, what up? It's your boy D Money, aka Mr. Too Legit to Quit, back with another sneaky review for you guys. Um, first off, before I start the review, I want to thank everybody that hit me up, inboxed me, messaged me, and to check on me because I was in the hospital with um, some health issues. Man, I thank you. I'm back and I'm stronger than ever. Um, this one's for you, man. I thank you very much. Right now, I'm listening to the Rick Ross Black Market new album, new songs. Definitely hot. If you haven't heard it already, you definitely need to give it a listen, man. Black Market by Ricky Rose, Young Renzel. Boom shakalaka. Excuse me. The moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to make this actual review very short. Because every time I try to record it and it's too long, it won't upload. And I'm recording from my phone. So I'm going to just get into the box for this one. For this review, I'm going to just do the review for the box. Because I want to make sure I get everything for you guys. I know you've been waiting. And I want to make it in-depth for you guys. Boom. The box. You have the 23 embossed. On top of the box, that's a two, that's a three. It looks weird, not my, you know, not my design, but it's a 23. Of course, you have this here that says Jordan on both sides, which is also on the shoe. This is every aspect of the shoe that's on this box. Jordan here, Jordan here, red jump man. If you can't see that, this is a flat black. That is a glossy black. This is also like the shoe because this is supposedly the resemblance of the patent patent leather that's on the shoe and this is a flat black so this is a glossy black and that's a flat black with the red metallic jump man just like it would be on the shoe same thing on the back with the, the gloss and the and the flat black or the matte black whatever you want to call it same thing on the side the front of the shoe red ring resembling the colorway of the shoe boom all right so I am going to briefly take out the shoes. Like I said, this this review is going to be two parts. And if you share this video, make sure you send them to my page, which is at Mr. Too Legit to Quit on Facebook. And um, I really enjoy the fact that you guys share everything for us. So, boom, here's one shoe. Boom. I'm going to set that here. I'm gonna be, matter of fact, not the shoe just yet. Let's talk, let's, let's speak about the other specifics. The carbon fiber paper, boom. Last year, the carbon fiber paper was a little glossy. This one isn't. This is more, I wanna say flat. It's not glossy at all. It's not glossy at all. This is supposed to resemble the carbon fiber that's under the bottom of the shoe. Um, of course, it comes with all this extra, you know, paper and stuff that it comes with but um basically the shoe comes in this packaging oh the, i can't forget this the red tint this here this also comes on top of the shoe like when you open the box it comes on top like that so this is the roman numero 11 if you don't know that by now it also says Mike made them great. It says Tinker made them shine. Mike made them great. You made them iconic. I'm pretty sure all Jordan 11 heads know that, but this is specifically for the people that didn't know that. Tinker made the design. Mike made them fly. You made them iconic. That is it for the review of the box of the Air Jordan 11 7210. My next review will be specifically talking about the actual shoe, my thoughts on the shoe, and the actual review. My name is D-Money, a.k.a. Mr. Too Legit to Quit. I thank you. Like, comment, share. Peace. See you next video. Give me a like. Give me a share. Give me a comment. Bang, bang, bang. Peace.